there's just so much to discuss with the S4 Mini, but now I'm going to put you on the spot, Dave. Okay, cut to the chase. What's your favourite? My favourite has to be the watch on application. Okay. We first saw this introduced on the Galaxy S4, which allows users to control their TV directly from their smartphone. <laughs> Get in. You've got the ability to do that now on the S4 Mini. So if I open up my watch on application, it shows you a list of everything that's on TV at the moment. So if I wanted to change the TV channel, I can select Sky News, hit watch now, and it will automatically change once I point my smartphone to my TV. Yeah. You've also got a record button here as well. Yeah. So you can actually connect this up to your set-top boxes, your Sky and your Virgin boxes to automatically record anything you want as soon as you press that button. Amazing. Now you've got one more thing that I really love. Yeah. By pressing this button here, it brings up my TV remote. <laughs> so if I point my S4 Mini to my TV yep. and hit the volume button up, as you can see, the volume's going up and it's either go down so or it's going down. Infrared needs to be pointed, yeah? Infrared does need to be pointed, yes. yes. Now, I'm a avid football fan. Yep. I like to play a bit of games. Mm -hmm. FIFA is my favorite. Right. So if my wife likes to watch uh, EastEnders and I want to play a game of FIFA, I can change the source directly from my S4 Mini. So if I hit the source button, yeah. as you can see there, you've got a list of everything that is currently being connected to my smart TV. Right. Superb. So there you go. The S4 Mini is going to make life easier for you. Unlike Dave, who doesn't ask his wife permission before changing the channels, that's clearly going to make life difficult. Oh, yes. For himself. Thank you.